Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby Guy. Today, a very special video. We're going to react to Sean Feucht with his video, founder of Satanist Church of South Africa, gives his life to Jesus. This is still such a curious topic of interest to me because I heard so many testimonies of people encountering Jesus, seeing Jesus, having a real experience, near-death experience, where they met Jesus. In today's video, as the title says, this guy here is the founder of the Satanist church in South Africa, and even him, allegedly, had an encounter with Jesus and gave his life to Jesus. Let's have a look. I did this interview, and in this interview I said, I don't believe that Jesus Christ exists. And after the interview, this lady came to me, and she that is so strange to me, I have to cut it off right here already. How can you be a Satanist but don't believe that Jesus exists? She hugged me and she held me in a way that I've never been loved. I saw this woman is a Christian. I've never had, I've never experienced a Christian showing that much love and acceptance unconditionally. After that interview, I had a meeting with council members at the, at the church and they said, okay, great, now we've done all these interviews and people know and it's growing, Satanism is growing and believe me people it is. And I had to do a ritual by myself to see how do I get more, more power, more influence. And I did this ritual and I opened myself up and Jesus. Okay, I have to cut it off again. I didn't know that he prior to his ritual already had contact with Christians. And as you can see, he's extremely emotional and he already started seeing the forgiveness within Christianity. Christianity became very appealing to him. So, of course, this could have influenced his ritual, his experience. Appeared and I was extremely cocky. And I said, if you are Jesus, you need to prove it. And he flooded me with the most beautiful love and energy and I recognized it immediately because that woman at the radio station showed it to me. That's how I recognized the love of Christ That's immediately I mean. because four people showed it to me and I didn't understand it at the time. I couldn't understand it because like I said I didn't believe even when I was in Christian ministry almost 20 years ago I never knew it until a month or two ago. The love of Christ is unconditional. When you experience it, it is something different. I have for a long time believed that I am not worthy of God's grace. Let me tell you something today. The kingdom of God is not a gated community. The kingdom of God is open to everybody. It's my prayer that... Yeah, you definitely still sound deceived. How can it be open to everybody? That would open you up to do whatever you want. So basically, you could stay a Satanist and worship Satan, and the kingdom would still be open for you. Do you think this is true? Do you think this is reasonable? You will feel the love. I, I, I pray that the peace of, of Christ will be with you. All right, this is it already. Very, very short video. I expected more, to be totally honest. However, now I have to say that this man was extremely emotional. He already experienced this unconditional love, quote-unquote, from this woman, this Christian love, that moved him tremendously. Then he goes into his ritual and has a vision. We don't know what type of ritual it was. We don't know if it was influenced by psychedelic drugs, for example, hallucinogens, because in that state you're very susceptible and any that you heard prior to that ritual would come up in your trip. As I said in the beginning, there's still a curious topic of interest to me. It is definitely interesting to see different experiences, people reporting upon seeing Jesus and whatnot, and having transformative experiences that will change their life. He's definitely better off in the church than in the church of Satan. But unfortunately, most of those testimonies are highly emotionally charged, and therefore I cannot take them at face value. Nevertheless, if you want me to continue with this 
type of reaction format, please let me know in the comment section and post videos as well. I'm open to react to all kinds of material, even beyond religion, if you have something that is worth reacting to. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Yes, I have a Patreon as well. Thank you very much, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.